actually riding through a little town called West Mifflin, Pennsylvania, and it is not really a little town. I just said a little town. West Mifflin is fairly huge, um, nice city to live in. A lot of different areas. If you want some privacy, they got some country settings in West Mifflin. Um, sort of like some off the grid locations in West Mifflin if you choose to. And West Mifflin has a lot going for it. West Mifflin is um, a city and then that person ran a stop sign. Yep, he ran a stop sign. I don't know if he thought that was cute or not, but yeah, he ran the stop sign. I guess people just get a driver's license and just say, hey, look, they allow me now. I'm going to just do what I want. Yeah. Blow the stop sign, buddy. People, when you stop at a stop sign, don't do that California cruise through. Stop fully, look both ways, then proceed on. Yep, we are going to a place where I bought a few of my firearms. Uh, at Anthony Arms, which is no longer in business for many reasons. Um, so it's a new place there and they're called Legion. And I'm coming up on Lebanon Church Road. Some people say Lebanon is Lebanon Church Road. Right in front of me is the county airport. Um, that is not a big airport for commercial airliners but it is an airport for private jets small planes and helicopters and police air traffic vehicles so i'm gonna hang a right on lebanon church road and it's about to storm y'all can see that yep Why not give y'all a Saturday drive? Stay in the right lane when you turn in from the right. And if you're gonna get over in the left lane, signal and move over when safe. Nobody's in my left lane. Now I'm gonna switch on over to the left lane. Turn off my turn signal, I'm in the lane. Let me stop talking like uh, I'm giving y'all a driving course. Every time I come down here, I catch a plane coming in. Um, and I would love to catch it in slow motion, but today there's no planes crossing this uh, airfield. I think I would like to own that one day, a private jet. That way I can skip hop whenever I feel like it in the event of an emergency, really. Um, not a helicopter, but a plane. And what I would do with that plane is I would have parachutes on it, and it would be one of those planes where you could jump out, so not so much of a jet, but one of those uh, skydiving planes. That way, if I got to get up out of there or something else happened, I'm going I'm gonna go flying, y'all. Yep, skydive is on my bucket list, without a doubt. You will see me skydiving one day. Um, the reason why I haven't done any skydiving is because it was there. It is in Ohio. Um, Ohio is not far away from me. Depending on how you drive, two hour, hour and 40 minutes, hour and a half, somewhere around here. Um, and that's avoiding speeding tickets. So skydiving is there, or I can go to like Somerset, PA, PA and do it. So, yep, skydiving is on the bucket list. Absolutely. I've done 
done some research with the skydiving classes and a lot of the courses they have. You gotta take a course, watch a couple videos, do some jumps. Um, the scariest thing that crosses my mind with skydiving is whenever you go to pull the chute. When you go to pull the chute, the chute opens. Well, I don't mean open. The chute comes out of the bag, but all the the uh, ropes are tangled up. So, you know, you pull that cable and then you wonder why your chute is tangled up and it's just, and in the backup one, it's just to get you to the ground without a hard smack, which they say that still does hurt. When you hit that ground, they gotta teach you how to hit the ground and then that little roll whenever you do it. But depending on how hard you come in and you definitely gotta watch power lines. They've had some people come down in some power lines and whoo, that was scary getting them out of there. Some didn't make it. Yep, some people didn't make it. Now this truck in front of me, this dump truck, he's driving out of Wexford, PA. That's where I go shoot guns at. Yep. Yep, I go shoot guns up in Wexford. There's multiple locations I like to go to. Yeah, nothing like taking y'all for a little ride. I usually catch this red light up here. Basically, this pickle jar head caught the light deliberately. Yeah, seeing me pulled over, he could have sped up and did all of that. It's a pizza shop on the right. It's called Pizza Stop. I've never tried it. I said I was going to try it. See, check that out. Pizza Stop. I was supposed to try that one day, but I never did. I'm at the intersection of Mifflin Road and Beggs. And I'm bringing y'all on a ride with me. That's all, just a little Saturday drive. signs yep this is the city of Pittsburgh and the storm clouds is coming up oh to anybody watching this video if you're ever in the area when you see this sign up here that says use turn signal please use your turn signal I know you think people supposed to automatically think you turning right or going left but some people have went to the left and cars and coming opposite direction slam right into them. small town right here checking out the rain clouds let it rain let it rain let it rain that is something we need a lot of rain uh, I knew that was gonna fall but it is what it is 
always make a full stop. Like I always tell y'all, I really wish you could uh, play music without getting a copyright. I think that would be awesome for the channel. Yeah, I think that would be awesome for the channel. <laughs> 